this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. Today I am doing another challenge against I, Ballistic Squid. We are doing the Don't Stop Challenge, and in this challenge we are not allowed to stop moving. Basically what we're going to be doing is taping our left analog stick on our controller forward. And so what that means is we basically cannot stop walking forward. So we're going to be non-stop uh, walking around like this uh, while trying to complete some tasks. And so the first thing we need to do is we need to make a block of redstone and place it there. And once we've done that, we take the tape off the controller and switch it round so it's then going to be taped backwards. And then we need to do the, the next challenge while having to walk backwards. <laughs> and the, uh, the next challenge is going to be to make a cooked fish sandwich. So we need two pieces of bread uh, and, a, uh, and a cooked fish. And it's basically going to be the, uh, the first person uh, to, to complete both challenges uh, is going to, to be the, the winner. And uh, we do have these uh, nice little beds down here ready for us. And uh, we also uh, have ourselves some uh, baked potatoes and one golden apple. Uh, but apart from that, uh, we are going to be starting off with nothing, which means we've got to get all of our uh, all of our tools and everything uh, ourselves. So uh, the first thing I guess to do is uh, to, to tape down the, the controller. So, uh, right, let's go to... I'm going to go to bed first. And while I'm in bed, I can go and try and start taping it down. So you can hear I've got some some duct tape, uh, duct tape on me here. And I'm going to go and try and tape it down as properly as I can, uh, just to make sure it doesn't fall forward. So there we go, a little bit more tape. I'm really doing a, uh, a very thorough job here. <laughs> I've kind of covered half the, uh, the controller. And I guess, because it's always pointing forward, we're not going to be able to sprint either. And oh look, I'm off, I'm off already. I can't, I can't stop moving. <laughs> right, when we're ready, uh, we've got to press this button here uh, to set off fireworks, but it's kind of hard to do it when we're moving. Right, I've pressed my button, uh, which has launched my fireworks. Uh, once Squid uh, presses his button and launches his fireworks, then we can begin. I think he's having a bit of trouble. Right, it's off. We have began. This is the, the don't stop challenge. So uh, basically, uh, I'm not doing anything with the, the left analog stick now. I'm just constantly uh, walking forward and uh, there's not much I can I can do about it. So I think the first thing I want to do uh, is to, to punch down some trees and I think there's a, a few trees over here uh, which I should be able to uh, to punch down pretty easily and oh actually something I didn't think about is yeah look doing the menus how are we going to do the menus? That is going to be really difficult because you need to use the left analog stick uh, in order to do those menus. So I guess I'm going to worry about that a little bit later on. First, I'm going to go and try and cut down uh, some trees. I guess if I stand here, so this way I'm kind of constantly walking uh, into a, a single block. I think this is going to be the uh, the easiest way to, to do it. And then if I break away the final one last, there we go. That wasn't too painful. The thing I'm worrying about is when we get into a cave. Because that's when there's going to be lots of googlies and things. And uh, yeah, things might get dangerous. Or like a lava pit. Like imagine there's like a lava pit right in front of me. And I'm walking towards... But I can't, like, turn around and walk back in the other direction. <laughs> I guess I just got to spin around in a circle. I think the only big thing that's going to help us out is crouching. Even though crouching won't stop you, they make you walk slower. Or I guess if you are at an, an edge, it kind can, like, kind of stop you a little bit uh, like that. So I think if I punch down uh, one more tree, uh, that should be uh, enough wood for me to uh, to make all of my tools and torches and anything else I might need. And so the first thing to do is uh, to dig straight down. So uh, I need to make a redstone block. Uh, so that's nine pieces of uh, redstone dust, uh, which you should get pretty easily. Uh, but you do need to, to dig down uh, pretty deep in order to find it and I also need to make whoa easy <laughs> I'm all over the place yeah I also need to make sure that I make a um an iron pickaxe uh, so then that way uh, I can mine the uh, the redstone in the the first place and I did uh, spot some coal over here actually let's not worry about coal for now because I'm gonna find that anyway right, let's go try and find if I can uh, the uh, the entrance to a, a good cave uh, finding my way back to the house shouldn't be too hard uh, because there's the big beacon actually let's have a look at the the map um how am I going to have a look at that? Okay, I can't look at my map. How am I going to get things? There we go. Look at that. <laughs> I was able to just about uh, get to, to my map then. So yeah, let's kind of remember whereabouts I am. So I should be able to find my way back here. And this looks like an okay cave. Uh, yeah, I guess, um, I guess I'm guess i going down. And oh, 
I kind of regret not getting that coal now, to be honest. Uh, hopefully, yeah, actually, I do want to get some coal before I go down there because that is very, very, very dark. Let's backtrack for a little bit. <laughs> let's take things a little bit slower. And uh, yeah, let's make sure I'm properly ready uh, before I, I decide uh, to go down. So uh, there was a whole load of coal here. Uh, let's make all of my torches and get all of that ready uh, before worrying about uh, going down. So uh, let's go. And I guess I need to, to make a stone. Actually, I need to make a wooden pickaxe first, don't I? How is crafting going to work when we're always walking forwards while always holding up on the left analog stick hopefully this is going to be at all possible otherwise things are going to get very difficult so uh, let's first oh no i can craft actually because uh, i can use the uh, the d-pad for that okay this is okay then this isn't uh, too bad all uh, right i now need to make some uh, yeah, I need to make uh, some sticks. Uh, that's not too bad. And then I also need to make myself a, uh, yeah, a, a wooden pickaxe. So I can use this uh, to start mining away some of this stone. And uh, as soon as, as I've got enough to... Um to make myself some stone tools I'm gonna to go and do that and gather up some of the the torches the only thing that's worrying me is I got to get my food somehow I don't know how I can oh I can kind of a little bit move it to the side and then maybe if I can just grab those potatoes oh that was close that was close come on get the potatoes get the potatoes get the potatoes come on oh so close so close there we go I was able to just about grab my potatoes <laughs> this is ridiculous this is so hard to do anything in the the inventory that's like an extra challenge uh, that I didn't even really think about uh, before we before we started. Right, but I've got a, a plenty of stone now, uh, so I can go and make myself a um uh, a uh, oh nope didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I can make myself a stone pickaxe now, uh, just like that. And uh, I guess I can just get rid of this old one and I can go and start gathering up some of this coal uh, so I can make myself some some torches. And then I won't feel so uh, worried about heading down into the, the cave because at least I can light up and actually also make uh, myself a, a stone sword, uh, which should have been probably one of the, the first things I, I thought about doing. And uh, yeah, then we could go and uh, head down and uh, see if we can get the, the redstone. I think this game is going to be really won or lost on who gets the redstone block first, even though uh, after we're going to be going backwards which will be harder I think getting the fish and the wheat isn't going to be as hard as getting the, the redstone. So I think this is the time uh, to really try and play my best in order to get everything I need. So it would be good if I can uh, just to get all of the, the coal I need now. Uh, so then that way when I'm in the, the dangerous cave, I don't really need uh, to worry about it anymore. Rather than getting the uh, the coal as I go, because it's going to be so dangerous down in the, the cave, constantly walking and with all the googlies, I would rather just get everything that I, that I need now and uh, not worry about it uh, when I'm down there. So I'm going to get quite a lot of coal here. I've almost got, uh, yeah, almost got half a stack of uh, coal already here, and there's still a, a little bit more here. So I'm going to get these uh, these last few blocks that are around here, and uh, yeah, then we can make some torches. And uh, I'm here. I'm going to go back down to the the cave that I saw before. So uh, let's go and. Um make some of these uh, into to torches uh, just so I have them ready. Let's make a, a few sticks and then where are where are torches? I don't often make them on a crafting table so I couldn't really find them. Then there we go. 48 torches. That should be okay. And oh no! <laughs> now I need to find a way of getting them uh, actually into my inventory which is going to be uh, yeah another challenge. And there's a crafting table here as well that I can grab. Right let's try and get these, these torches. Oh look I'm kind of going the whole way around. It does seem that I'm kind of going up and slightly to the left. So that's that might make it a little bit easier. Oh, no, no. I took my boots off. I took my stampy style boots off. That's no good. <laughs> right. I think I need to, to empty something out of my inventory. And then I need to try and go and grab it. Oh, that's nearly got it. Oh, nearly. No, not quite. Not quite. Come on. There we go. I got my boots back on at least. Can I get the torches? That's the big question. I'm getting really close. Oh, I got the crafting table. I don't really need that yet. I really need those torches though. Come on, get them. Get them. There we go. I was able to just about get my torches. And oh, no. I ended up crouched as well. Right. That's not very good. <laughs> there we go. I'm standing up again. All right, let's go and uh, head down to the uh, to the cave. Oh, I realize I didn't make a sword. It's okay. It's okay. I think if I see a googly, I'm just going to run away anyway. I don't know how much uh, a sword would help me, and I don't think I want to go through the whole hassle of putting down a crafting table and trying to make a sword again just yet. <laughs> Actually, I, I, think, I think I need to. I think I need to. It shouldn't be too hard. If I throw away these saplings, the crafting table seems relatively easy to get. Oh, no, there go my boots again. There go my boots. I'm not going to worry about them for now. Can I get the crafting table? I'm just pressing Y as, like, fast as I can. And, oh, no, I got I got the wood, but not the, the crafting table. Right, let's go and throw away that wood for now and try and get the crafting table. I'm going right over it, but I'm not getting it. There we go. I've now got the, the crafting table here. 
I can go and make some more sticks and uh, I can now go and make myself my my stone sword. I don't know my stone swords up there. <laughs> I need to get better about clearing things from my quick select uh, before trying to, to make these items because otherwise they end up just here. So what I'm doing uh, as I go up, I'm just spamming on the, the D-pad to the to the right and then that way I can try and get along to, to where I need to be. So there we go. Let's go and grab the, the crafting table again. If so, if I throw away the, the sticks for now and, and the, the saplings, uh, then that way the crafting table uh, will be in my quick select and then I won't need to worry about it later on. That's a, a pretty good idea actually. So uh, that's the, I think the way I'm going to worry about doing this in the, the future. Future. So where was the uh, the tunnel I found? It wasn't this one, was it? Have I gone past it? Is it over in this direction somewhere? Uh, oh, I think this might have been it here. Yeah, I think this is uh, where I went to go before. Uh, so now I got my torches. I'm a little bit less scared than I was before. I'm still a little bit scared, uh, but not quite as scared as the, the first time I went down here. At least I can try and light it up. And oh, does it keep going down? It does. Okay, I thought it was going to end right then, but it does uh, seem to be going down a little bit deeper. And oh, looks like I've got my first googly. I'm definitely glad I decided to, to go back and make the, uh, the stone sword. I definitely want to get a uh, an iron in one uh, as soon as I can because that would help me out big time so I really just want to go as deep as I can and oh no here's lava here's lava okay got to be careful we're going to avoid it let's just go the other direction from the lava shall we that might be a <laughs> might be a smart idea uh, oh no I can't go any further this way uh, but this is a, a relatively swoop easy now steady uh, yeah this is a oh no no I was gonna say it's a safe place to get iron but there is gravel I don't think there's too much so I should be okay though uh, to go and gather up a little bit of this iron uh, which is going to be very useful later on uh, for making a uh, an iron sword and uh, an iron pickaxe possibly some iron armor as well depending on how much I get uh, so it looks like I am gonna have to go and run past uh, this lava so if I stay whoops straight to the side <laughs> remember I can't stop Stop moving I can't turn around I gotta keep going forward this is the don't stop challenge right let's go down can we go down any anywhere lower Aha, uh -huh. I think I can go down this way. This isn't where I've come from. I can see more light, which makes me think there's lava. Ah, there is a torch there, which means I have been close by, uh, but I don't think I've been down this way yet. And it looks like uh, there's a little bit more iron. I'm going to go forward a little bit, though, and just make sure there's no googlies waiting around this corner uh, before I think about grabbing the iron, and it seems okay. So, yeah, let's go back here, and uh, let's go and try, if I can, mine this up uh, while, yeah, while trying to uh, keep walking all over the place. And then I'm going to go and make myself a, a furnace. So, there's then I can start smelting the, the iron and I can make myself an iron sword and an iron pickaxe and then I should have everything that I that I need uh, to keep going forward and uh, go and actually get the the redstone so the next challenge is just going to uh, going to be to, to get as deep as possible uh, so I have a chance of actually running into the the redstone so let's go and uh, put all of this away here and uh, I now need to go and uh, put down my crafting table and uh, let's see how easy or difficult this is going to be. So making the uh, the furnace should be easy enough. Yep, I can make that and plonk it right down there. Uh, I now need to try and get the iron into the furnace. How's this going to work? <laughs> this is going to be difficult. Right, so I think I can get the coal in maybe? Um, I don't even know how I'm going to get the, the coal in actually. Um... Right, I don't, I don't actually know if this is, this is possible. What happens if I just leave it? It kind of just ends uh, there on the, the top of the screen. I need to get, I need to smelt it. I, I, I need to get an iron pickaxe somehow. But how am I, how am I going to do this? I think I just need to completely like jig around everything in my pockets uh, so I can do it. I, don't, I can't even throw away the iron that I already have. Let me just go and hold as much to the left as I can uh, as it's going up and uh, see if I can I can get the, the iron in there. It's difficult, though, to get it. Oh, there we go! I did it! How about that? Right, that's step number one. Step number two is to, to get the coal. And right, I think I've got an idea of how I can do this. If I throw away the sword like this, and then if I throw all of the, the coal away as well... Then that way, if I pick up the coal first, it should be in the first place in my quick select, and I might be able to uh, to do it that way. So if I just throw it all the way down like this, and there we go. Oh no, I did pick up the sword first, but it is much uh, further forward. And now I think I got more chance of getting the the coal in. Or actually, I could even just put the the wood in if I can. See the wood that's up there? I it wouldn't be as good as the the coal, but it would be okay. Uh, right, let's see if I can get the 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 wood in, or at least the the coal. Nope, I got rid of the the sword. Right, let's go and try and do this again uh, with the um with the coal. If I drop it and then pick it up again, it should put it in the, the first place. And then there we go. Now it should be much easier uh, to try and get it into the, the furnace. So let's try and do it. There we go. 
<laughs> I can't believe I was able to make that work. Let's see if I can do the, the same with my stampy style boots. This is such a, a weird way to play Minecraft, isn't it? <laughs> it's just like the most simple things that shouldn't be a challenge are just a huge challenge for me now. <laughs> right, so I think the, the iron should be there already. Um, well, it should be smelting away. And as soon as it is, I'm going to go and uh, try and... Um, yeah, make myself uh, an iron sword. So I might as well look forward a little bit further and uh, see where I want to go next. Oh, there's a big hole there. I'm glad I didn't drop down. And uh, the tunnel uh, seems to keep going further down that way. So this actually seems to be uh, a pretty good cave. Uh, not a, a bad find whatsoever. So I should have had a, a little bit of iron in here. And what I can do is actually just break the... um. The furnace, uh, once it's uh, all finished smelting, uh, and then that way uh, I don't need to worry about trying to get all of the, the items out of it. I think that might be the uh, the easiest way to, to do this. So I might as well gather up some of this iron and things uh, while I'm waiting, because there's not too much else for, for me to do. And uh, then I'm just going to go and grab whichever iron's finished smelting, and yeah, carry on uh, going down to get the redstone, because I have no idea uh, how well Squid's doing. Of course I can't see him, I have no idea what he's doing, uh, but he is, he is uploading his view though, so uh, yeah, there will be a link in the description uh, to, to his video if you want to check out what he is doing right now and see if he's uh, struggling as much as I am. Right. <laughs> I made my items, but once again, I didn't think about how I'm going to get them uh, into uh, into my quick selects. I really want to get them uh, right down here. So let's just go and uh, throw away some things that I don't really immediately need. I don't really need the map too much. And now let's see if I can get over uh, to the... Um, Oh uh, yeah, to the, the sword and the, the pickaxe. Oh, it's going to be tough, actually. It's going to be tough. Let's go and try and do it all nearly, nearly, nearly. Oh, I nearly got the, the pickaxe then, at least. Not the sword, uh, but at least the pickaxe. There we go. I got the, the pickaxe ready. And ha do, how much iron do I have? Do I have enough to make another iron sword? Because I think that might actually be easier. There we go. Rather than trying to get the other iron sword, <laughs> I think it's, it's actually easier uh, just to make a new one. So now, I don't think uh, that I really have to do much more crafting at all. I should be ready just to go straight straight forward and uh, try and find the the redstone so uh, let's go down this way first shall we it seems to go uh, quite deep down here I want to have my sword at hand. Uh, hopefully, I'm almost low enough now uh, to have a chance of finding some redstone. And as soon as I do, I'm going to be trying to get out of this cave as quickly as I can. Oh, I can see some light down there, which, yep, it means there's going to be lava around here. So I want to be careful. Uh, once again, I'm just going to try and ignore the lava and go in the opposite direction. Oh, found an emerald <gasps> and redstone. Look, I found redstone right here. Sadly, though, it's right next to some lava. So I'm going to be very careful if I stay back here. Oh, and googlies. And there's a zombie and there is a zombie this is good though this was a uh, a good find to find this redstone uh, this early on let's go and try and uh, stand here and because i've made a little hole if i crouch uh, then that way i shouldn't go anywhere further forward so it was nine pieces uh, of dust uh, that, I, that i needed so let me go and try and get this one and uh, how many pieces have i got i have nine i have the exact perfect amount i need to make myself a redstone block so now all i need to do is find my way out of this cave, which is actually uh, easier said than done. I don't know that there's more redstone down here anyway. Might as well go and grab this. Hopefully there's no lava underneath. Nope, well, well, there is a little bit, but not too much. And another emerald. I've never found like this many emeralds close together before. Yeah, so now challenge number two is for me to be able to get out of this cave. <laughs> but sadly, uh, we have just about run out of time in this episode here. But don't worry, uh, I will be continuing uh, the, uh, the next episode of the Don't Stop Challenge very soon. So there'll be a link to that in the description uh, once it's online. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all later. Bye!